Tell us about EVs. Um, what is the future? How attractive is it? You invest in these sorts of things in Silicon Valley all the time. Well, we don't invest in electric vehicles, but we invest in the, the software that runs on top of platforms. And to talk about how important Tesla is for, for our ecosystem, if you look over the last 10 years, I bet 90% of all VC returns are related to the iPhone. Either it's Uber or Snapchat or Facebook or WhatsApp. And VCs are looking for another platform. So can the car be the platform of the future for all of our software companies to piggyback on? And what your last speaker talked about as it pertains to Tesla is the moat around their business. And if, if we enter a world where Tesla becomes a winner-take-all business because they've got more data and, and more driver information, therefore their products are better, they sell better, they work better, um, you basically have a single platform like the iPhone that captures a huge percentage of market share that VCs can fund apps on top of and then you know, that's good for investors. But what about that mode? Because, in, in fact, I believe there are more Nissan Leafs out there on the road than there are Teslas, as a practical uh, the, well, the, There are other traditional car manufacturers who are in that space. Yeah, but price disparity there is, is notable. I, I think the point being that Tesla Model 3 is their first mid-level market entry product, and that will have better share. But you have the Chevy Bolt that's out that's now. You've got true. the Nissan Leaf. Why is it that a new startup tech company is going to take that space rather than a traditional auto company moving into the electric vehicle space? Oh, boy. Um, <laughs> so uh, the existing guys, you know, Nissan Leaf and, and Chevy Volt, um, the demand latent in the market for those products is a lot less significant than the demand for a mid-level, low-priced Tesla vehicle. You can just survey the U.S. population and get a sense of how many people would purchase a Tesla if there was one available for thirty to forty thousand dollars. Ian, how important is the branding here? Yeah, that's right. Apple did not have a history of making mobile phones. Yes. Didn't have a history at all of doing that. How important is the branding that actually you don't want the history of making the cars? That, that, that's you, right. You want, you want something new. You, you know, want the, to be Tesla. The, you want something else. The, the history is an albatross, isn't it? because you can think back on all the bad cars that have been associated with that brand, and Tesla has a blank slate. So they've only produced cars that are wonderful thus far. And I think the Model 3 is also going to be wonderful. And, you know, we'll see how it sells.